Hey everyone, just got back from Harbor Freight, picked up a set of uh, Quinn 6 inch digital calipers and we're going to compare these to some Mita Toyas and some Brown and Sharps to see if they uh, are as accurate as they should be. And these are just, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with Quinn, Quinn is a, a higher end brand that Harbor Freight sells. Uh, it's probably the next step up above the Pittsburgh brand. Uh, these calipers were on sale for $34.00 figured that's going to be a fair price as long as they measure accurately. Uh, claims that the accuracy uh, measurement is within a thousandth of an inch. It doesn't say over what span. So is that within a thousandth of an inch if you're measuring something that's five thousandths? Or if you were at the six inch, you know, length, would it still be within a thousandth? Don't know. Uh, but anyway, that's your typical digital calipers. It claims that it's made out of stainless steel, so you shouldn't have problems with surface rust if it's sitting around for a while. Uh, it is an absolute uh, style digital caliper, meaning it's got an absolute encoder in it. So even with the uh, unit turned off, if you move this, uh, it's still going to... It's still going to know exactly where it's at. So when you turn it on, whatever the measurement is, is what it actually is. So we're going to go ahead and take this out of the package. Uh, in fact, let me just do that off screen. That way, if I cut my finger off, uh, you guys, well, you guys probably won't, might want to witness that. So I'll do this on the screen. Yeah, what's the easiest way to do this? Hold on a second. It does come with a... Uh, with a case, in case you're curious. Uh, let's look at the back before I cut into this. Uh, there's your 1,000th inch inside and outside and depth measurements. Last measurement memory with auto on off, so it will automatically shut off, which is good. There has been times I've left my Mita Toyas on, and I've come out a week or two later. They're still on. Now, they're Mita Toyas, so they're engineered to where it's not going to drain the battery. Uh, you know, it, it, I've used those Mita Toyas for years, and I think I replaced the battery maybe once every three or four years. Just amazing how long the little battery lasts. But anyway, stainless steel body construction. Does have a thumb wheel and a protective case. Let's see if we can get into these things without doing too much damage no reason to make a make a case you know or a packaging material that you can actually get into without <laughs> Jeez. unbelievable I mean it just it amazes me that they don't think about the end user enough to figure out how can we make this to where it's not easy to get? I get they don't want people to easily get into it in the store. Man, you got to be able to. I hate using a box knife because then you run the risk of cutting the contents inside. But that's what we're using. got through that. Let's just take everything out. Hold on. Clean the place up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I know you don't want to look at the case, but let's just open the case just to see what we got. Yeah, it does come with two extra batteries. That tells you that it probably drains the battery pretty quick. Um, and it does come with a case. And they do they do fit the case. Comes with a little piece of anti-rust paper so that the stainless steel that they use doesn't rust up on you. They are smooth. Uh, yeah, got to give them that. They are nice and smooth. 
nice and polished. Finally, well, probably not polished, but they're they're ground nicely. I don't know how that's all coming through, but other than my fingerprints that I've already got on them, uh, not looking bad. Quinn, no, CR2032 battery, 6 inch caliper. Just real quick, I was just curious what the warranty was on these in case you, uh, 90 day limited warranty. Okay, let's get on with the, with the, uh, and more than likely we're going to have to get into these to Uh, okay. How do you get into them? I hate to have to read the instructions. To replace battery, open battery compartment to the right of to the right of the display, just in case you couldn't figure out where the battery compartment was. Install new uh, positive side up. Okay, so it doesn't tell you. I mean, it looks like this is supposed to. Okay, there we go. And it flew across the shop. So hold on, let me track it down. Okay, so it did not come with a battery installed, but it does have the little plastic. Okay, that's to take the battery out. Never mind. Scratch that last thing. So we're going to open up one of the two batteries that it came with, maybe. You know what? We're going to open this one up. Positive side up. Now, if you don't know the positive side, the positive side is actually the bigger flat side, not this side. The little plastic piece that you see in here, that's so that you can pop this battery out whenever you're ready to take it out. So don't don't pull that little plastic piece out of there. Let's see if we can get this. They could have designed this just a little bit better, I think. I guess that's just held in with friction, and then, all right, so there it is, of course that's on metric, we got to change that over, this thousand. Now the display does go to half thousand, it looks like. So, uh, yeah, so far so good. Nice, nice crisp display. Uh, the origin, you want to set that. So, the best way to set your caliper zero is make sure that you're completely cleaned off. And then push and hold the origin. And whenever that's zeroed, now no matter no matter what you do at the absolute zero, if I was to zero it right here, let's say that I'm measuring something. We'll just take this piece of rod right here. And I'm wanting to uh, to use this as my reference. So I'm gonna zero it right there. Well, if I close these, obviously it's not going to be on zero no more, even though they're completely closed. Well, if I turn it off, now when I turn them back on, it's back to zero. Because the origin was set with these completely closed. So that's what that origin's all about. So anyway, let's, let's check the accuracy of these. So I've got two standards. 
that came with a cheap uh, uh, micrometer set that I've got and I want to see and, and they've proven to be uh, accurate so here's my Mitre Toys and they're zeroed out uh, does need a battery the low battery lights coming on but that's beside the fact And this one inch standard, let me flip it around so that you guys can witness it. One inch, hopefully you can see that on the display. The Mita Toy is exactly one inch. I'll get the brown and sharps out. These are the brown and sharp inner rapids, they're aluminum with stainless steel inserts a lot of people think these are plastic calipers they're not plastic they're aluminum they're painted or powder or I don't know maybe alodyne I don't know but uh, I'll turn them on you can see they're zeroed One inch. Now for the question. Okay, we're zeroed. And we're at 999 thousandths and a half. So within a half a thousand of one inch. Do it a second time, and then we'll do the two inch. Nine hundred ninety-nine and a half thousandths. So within a half a thousandth of one inch. So that's uh, that's not bad for thirty-four dollar calipers, I guess. Okay, let's check the two inch. First, we'll do the mitre toys. Hopefully, you can see that. I mean that's that's two inches on the money. Uh, that's half of ten thousandths. This goes over four uh, digits on the Mitre Toys. We're still zeroed on the brown and sharp. Two inches on the money on the brown and sharp. Okay, we're still showing zero. And there's there's two inches on the quins. So that I mean that's pretty good. I wish I had, now this is a little longer, I've got one other thing that's a little longer than two inches. This is not any kind of a standard, it's just a piece of drill rod that, uh, that I cut off. Both sides are faced. So this will open us up a little bit more than two inches. Uh, but it's not going to be, you know, the most accurate thing. But So on the Mitre Toys, what have we got? Two inches, 425 thousandths and a half, but we're just going to... We're going to worry about the 425. So 425. The brown and sharps, 425. Four twenty six on the quins. So two inches, four hundred twenty six thousandths. So about a thousandth over what the uh, both the uh, Mitre 
Toys and Brown and Sharps said. It is actually half a thousand because those were, did say, uh, what was it, 425 and a half. So let's just do this one more time. Yeah, 426. Uh, and like I say, these are, they're, I mean, they're, they're smooth. They're about as smooth as what you would expect. Not quite as smooth as the Mitotoyas. And not quite as smooth as the uh, Brown and Sharps, but... Nonetheless, they're very, very smooth. Let's see if we can get it messed up there. Nope. Even with rapid movement. Goes back to zero. Let's see if our two inch standard's still looking good. Two inch and five thousandths. No, uh, I'm sorry. Two inch and half a ten thousandth. So, if you guys are looking for a pair of digital calipers, uh, these Quins for thirty four dollars. If you get them on sale, I think they're forty nine. If they're not on sale, this is a memorial. This was a Memorial Day sale. They were thirty four dollars. And uh, it looks like that they're probably going to fit the bill. Uh, of course, it is metric and imperial. So you got your millimeters and your thousandths. Uh, it is an absolute uh, style digital caliper. Got the origin button. Does have the lock up top here. If you lock it can't move it unlock it you can move it anyway it does come with a case uh, it does have auto power off of course I don't know it didn't say how long it takes for them to power off but uh, I have no doubt they would automatically power off it does come with a spare battery no place to really put it and there you go that's about all I had you guys take care we'll see you in the next one